So, the takeaway from last episode is that Salem is immortal and Osmond doesn't have a plan. Why did it take 25 minutes just to point that out? I'm Mediocrity4 and this is my review for Ruby Volume 6 Episode 4. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you may want to before watching this review. Here we have another episode that is good compared to the usual Ruby episode, but is still disappointing based on its own merits. It has a lot of the same problems older episodes did, and no, I'm not talking about the length. There's been shorter episodes in recent volumes, and better writers would be able to have a lot more plot progression with a fraction of this time. I'm talking about our old friend, The Filler. Nothing happens to really drive this volume forward. It is so close to being outright bad like an average volume 5 episode, but it is salvaged by one thing, or one man. Crow gets some much needed character development. After two volumes of being nothing but Osmond's lapdog, he is finally being forced to come to terms with his own fruitless adventures and all the pointless tragedy that has been left in Osmond's wake. He gets the best moment and the best line. Don't lie to him, we're better than that may very well be the best line in the entire series. And this episode also does something with Oscar they should have done two years ago. They managed to make him more than just a meat suit. Ospin is out of the picture for the foreseeable future, and I imagine this will lead to some dramatic stakes similar to when Crow was poisoned. He threatened to take the autonomy away from the main cast, and now he's being written out so that the team can take on the next task on their own. The only way they can screw this up is if Ospin redeems himself in the next episode or two. And then you have the villains. This scene should have been cut entirely. Why is Salem so pissed about Osmond's return? Doesn't she have like literally all the time in the world to complete her plans? Didn't the last Osmond get vaporized by Cinder, thus hinting at the fact that he's not that strong anymore? Since when was Cinder protecting Emerald? Who decided to edit the scene? It looks atrocious. How does Salem know Cinder is alive but didn't know Ospin was back? This scene is half the episode and definitely the worst scene in the volume thus far. In the end, after three episodes of self-contained story beats all building off each other and hopefully leading to a satisfying climax, this episode felt like padding. It's a setup episode which is something the series has an overabundance of. 